Greetings, this is Jerry Revere of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. Today we're going to be talking about Communication Manager Utility Server and its functionality as a TFTP server. The Utility Server provides many functions. The TFTP server to be used for branch gateway firmware upgrades, the DHCP servers for IPv4 and IPv6, and the IP phone firmware manager to name a few of the functions. We will be looking at the TFTP server function to upload and serve out branch gateway firmware. Finally, a gateway will be upgraded to the latest release of that firmware that we will upload as part of this video. After logging into the utility server, I have selected the link in the menu tree under the Gateway Firmware section called Upload Gateway Firmware. The link opens to the Gateway Firmware Upload dialog, which allows a method to view the existing firmware installed. I am pressing the Display Firmware Directory button now to verify what firmware is currently present. As you can see, there are a variety of gateway images shown in the upper part of the screen and media module firmware near the bottom. Looking at the gateway firmware list, the latest version shown in the 31.x load line is 31.18.1. There is also shown a later version in the 32x load line as well. We are interested in upgrading the gateway to the latest in the 31x load line, which is 3120.1. In the view that is shown, the firmware file g450 underscore sw underscore 31 underscore 20 underscore 1 dot bin does not exist. We'll have to upload it. I have gone back one screen using the browser's back button to the original view of the Upload Gateway Firmware dialog. I will now select the Browse button and locate the firmware file on my laptop I have previously downloaded from the support site. I have selected the file and I am returned to the Gateway dialog where I am now able to press the button labeled Upload Gateway Firmware and Activate. This is passed the file to the utility server slash TFTP boot directory. Selecting the Upload Gateway Firmware link on the left and going back into the firmware directory by pushing the Display Firmware Directory button, you can see that the file 31 underscore 20 underscore 1 dot bin has been uploaded and is now displayed. We will now log into the target branch gateway. I have logged into the branch gateway and I have entered the command show image version. Note that bank B is currently running version 30.20.1. We will upgrade bank A which has the lower version number. I have entered the copy TFTP command with the firmware file name followed by the IP address of the utility server that we recently provisioned. This will start the transfer to the inactive bank of the gateway. Entering the command shown in the response from the gateway show download software status 10 command provides a status of the current download. Notice that we are writing the file. And if we enter this command a few times, you'll see that the file size under the bytes downloaded column increases with each button push. As you can see now, the running state of the TFTP server is idle, meaning that the complete file has been transferred to the branch gateway. To make the new version active, I have entered the command set boot bank bank A. As you can see now, it has accepted that command. 
The final step would be to reset the gateway to force the gateway to load the new image, which I am doing now. As you can see, I've logged back into the branch gateway and have issued the show image version command. Note that bank A is the current bank that is running and it's running with firmware version 31.20.1. We have illustrated that the utility server can be the means to deliver firmware to the branch gateways as one of its many functions. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.